Before we jump into today, I thought uh, I thought I'd let you know that there's a reason I haven't really been showing the other side of the room lately. There's my unhung play button, and there's all this crap and rubbish everywhere. It's a bit cramped in here at the moment, and a lot of this is stuff that's going to be going in Studio 2 that, you know, I just haven't organised myself in here, and I haven't shown you it, because I've been just working away on this side, which is slightly less chaotic. I'm trying to shelter myself from the turmoil of dealing with this crap yet. Also, Lily has my shirt! Yay! You're the first person to buy the new shirt and share it with me. Thank you so much, Lily. Speaking of shirts, today is shirt day. So I know over the last couple of days I've ebbed away at some shirt designs and I gave you a glimpse at one a couple of days ago. Today I'm going to finish up uh, three designs, one of which you've seen, and I'll show you the two that I've done and then I have one more that I've got the concept to and that I'm going to be working on and, and uh, finishing up. It's about 1.40 so I'm hoping I'll have enough time to finish that before the end of the day. This is the one you've seen, Choose Wisely, it uh, again is a nod to the Indiana Jones scene with the, the cups, but this time we have art supplies, and uh, this all should be available in a variety of colours, quite a wide variety, pretty much everything except for white because of the text, um, so you know, black and things like that. This is the next design, and <laughs> I really like the way that it turned out. This uh, is a phrase I use and say a lot without really thinking about it, and it's, uh, I don't know, I feel like a, a fun way of approaching art and the creative process and and as far as the shirt design goes uh, after a lot of tweaking I really wanted to be to be more of a, a word art or text based thing and look kind of casual but kind of fun and uh, again this will be in a, in a variety of colors uh, but uh, not white again because of the because of the um, white text. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You should be able to get a pink version. Unfortunately, they don't let you get pink male shirts. I thought that was a bit, a bit gendered of them. But uh, either way, variety of these. Uh, everything except for white and black, actually, because the fountain pen is black. But I, all things considered, I'm really happy with this. This was actually uh, a vector one where I did the the design itself in um, in Flash or in in Animate. Uh, because I wanted to be able to tweak it and have it look nice and clean, which is going to be the way I'm going to do the next shirt design as well. So this is the concept for my next shirt design. That's my sketch. Uh, and I guess it sort of speaks for itself. Uh, <laughs> I think it's really simple and I think I, I enjoy the uh, subtle innuendo and hopefully you guys will too. <laughs> the only thing is though, all of the designs I've done so far have black outlines, at least the uh, the ones with pictures of, of art on art supplies on them. And I want this one to be different. I don't want thick outlines. I want it to have clean edges and just feel like they have a little bit more of a solid mass without looking too, too cartoony. They'll still look really clean and like a vectory, uh, but I don't want them to look too harsh and, and uh, with a thick edge. So I'm going to do them in, uh, in Animate with a vector look but with no outlines. Okay, so I've taken my sketch and I have uh, added this very thin line work layer, uh, just a vector line work layer, and that will enable me to essentially fill it all in. I'll just give you a rough sample here. So let's say I've filled that in, I can then just get rid of the line work uh, like that, and then all of a sudden we have something that looks clean and vectory. Now, I haven't finished with the line work yet, so I'm still gonna go through and, uh, and do that, and I'm also going to use gradients to make things look a little neater uh, and a little more three-dimensional, but that I, that's the direction I want to go in with this one. A little bit more crisp and uh, less cartoony. I mean, it's cartoony, but, you know, without those thick black outlines I usually use. Warning, parents, warning, the okay. word penis will be used. <laughs> and I've, I've shown them a little bit of behind the scenes of making this, but we're caught in a little bit of a, a tricky decision. Do we go with subtle, so the innuendos there, shavings are there, it's, but it's still more of a t-shirt design and an inside joke, or do we go with blatantly obvious? <laughs> 
This is the this, Mrs. Jazza version. This, <laughs> but yeah, believe it or not, this is not me. This is, Mrs. Jazza was saying, if you're going to go with well, it, I, I, out. it wasn't actually my idea, but I thought this is what he was going to make. So I thought when he said that he was going to make that, I thought, oh, well, it'll look like this. So then I was quite surprised his was so subtle. So you, are you going to do like a pop? This is not for kids. I'll do a poll. No, so show, there is a link in the show description. Show the kids version. Oh, we, we're doing a version for kids t-shirts which looks like uh, this. That no, no innuendo art supplies. That's not, yeah. So it's not for, it's not for kids t-shirt. This is the grown-ups t-shirt. That one. Okay, so please vote. <clears throat> if you were to buy one of these shirts, which I hope you do, which one will it be? Will it be A, the subtle sexual innuendo pencil sharpener and shavings? Two, the obnoxiously, obviously sexual penis pencil and sharpener. Or three, no innuendo art supplies on a t-shirt. Once again, and with the images, this is the A, subtle innuendo t-shirt. B, the zero subtlety sexual innuendo t-shirt. Or C, look at that, there's a few drawing things on a t-shirt. Zero innuendo. Please vote, and please, when you vote, think along the lines of, would I buy this shirt, and if so, would I wear it to the shops? Would I wear it on a daily basis and enjoy wearing it? Think of it from a practical perspective, if you think it's humorous enough, but subtle enough, or whatever. I don't, I don't know what your approach is, but, but vote with that in mind, rather than just trying to troll and, and pick a goofy one that you wouldn't actually buy. Go vote. Uh, share your feedback in the comments on the other shirts that I've shown you today as well. I'm very interested on what's your favourite, uh, what do you, what ideas do you have for future shirts, and what do you think of the ones that we've got so far, what improvements could be made. Anyways, I, I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. I got three full shirts done uh, in addition to the two that are up, and I'm pretty happy with that. I guess you could say, I really like the way that turned out. Huh? 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 Anyways, all that aside, I'm gonna wrap up with the question of the day. The Doctor's Whovian asks, Once Studio 2 is complete, do you have an idea slash plan as to the first thing you will want to do in there? Or will it be a spur of the moment kind of thing? Uh, the first thing I want to do is a tour and show off Studio 2. Uh, maybe content might come slightly earlier if there's something lined up. There's a, a few mixed reality things that I'd like to do when this kit arrives, which I believe is being sent out in the coming week. So, mixed reality should be happening maybe a month from now, uh, at the latest, hopefully. In answer to your question, aside from doing a studio tour ASAP, uh, I have a couple of content ideas. One involves painting on a canvas, another involves uh, d m the review for the Mobile Studio Pro, but getting some really nice product shots in the cool new space, but with like lighting in the background and all that stuff. Yeah, there's some there's some things, but honestly, I think it's gonna be really improvised. I think it's just gonna be having that cool space and for the most part, playing it by ear, but with the, the few pieces of content I have stewing and lined up. So a mix of both. Anyways, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to vote on that immature poll. Otherwise, that's it for the work week. Man, that goes by quickly. I guess that's that's it for our time in the office, so thanks for watching. Goodbye, you crazy, chaotic mess. I'll see you next week.